So I'm Deborah Evans and I've most recently been involved in leading the Healthy Living Pharmacy programme initially in Portsmouth and more recently across the country and I'm very much involved in that still. I run my own business and I still practice in community pharmacy and just a couple of months ago I completed the Director of Pharmacy role at the National Pharmacy Association. Colds and flu as common conditions have a big impact on society, not just the individuals who's suffering from the condition. So it can range from taking time off work and the impact on employment through to parents having to stay at home when their children suffer for, from a cold, for example. So the impact of what seems like a very common and um, just irritating condition can be quite significant. And children, as they're developing their immunity, can suffer with up to 10 colds during the winter season. So that could have quite an impact on a parent in terms of childcare. I think many people are unaware of the normal symptom duration for colds and flu, and particularly with flu, how long it takes to get over um, a bout of, of the virus. Um, and what that means is that um, they may be impatient about their, their symptoms and perhaps seek medical advice through their doctor sooner than perhaps they need to. A most cold and flu symptoms will last at least four to five days, but take anything between two and three weeks to go properly. And of course, how people respond to their symptoms varies considerably. So some people um, are hit quite hard um, and will need to take to their beds or, or feel that they need to uh, take time off work, whilst others will medicate and battle on. So it varies considerably. Pharmacists and pharmacies are the obvious place for patients to come for advice around colds and flu because it is about treating the symptoms and there's much that can be done to help you feel better and perhaps reduce the severity of the symptoms whilst you've got the infection. And so the pharmacist can help with advice, practical advice on what you can do during uh, the infection but also about what medication best suits you to help you feel better.